welcome back to another newly listed on the CSC clip. Uh, today I am talking virtually with Brad Kitchen. Um, Brad's the CEO of Sikova Metals Corp. It's listed on the CSC under the symbol SEK. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time to join us virtually today. How are you? Yeah, you know, I'm really good. Thanks very much for having me today. Of course. So let's let's get into this right away. Sikova Metals Corp, not a newly listed company per se. You were listed on the TSX Venture and switched over to the CSE. Um, so why don't you give us a brief introduction to Sikova for our viewers that might not be familiar with the company? Sure. Sikova is a bit of an interesting, uh, well, it's a very interesting company in that we started out as a junior gold exploration company. And we're transitioning ourselves into a production company now with the acquisition of our Montauban project. But it's not just production of, of gold and silver. We're also going to become an environmental company. What we're doing is we're taking the Montauban uh, gold mine, and currently it's a toxic tailings uh, environment. We're going to reprocess those tailings. We're going to extract gold and silver. And by the time we're finished extracting the, the resources, the tailings are no longer toxic. So we'll be able to return it to its natural state. Got it. Very interesting concept and congratulations on moving towards the production stage. I know for any any junior exploration company, that is sort of a, a big milestone to me. So, you know, obviously your team has been hard at work. Now, Brad, can we talk a little bit about the switch? So what was the reasoning behind, um, you know, kind of moving over to the Canadian Securities Exchange? Well, Canadian Securities Exchange is a fantastic platform for us to go out and raise capital. It enables us to differentiate ourselves from other companies, not your typical, I would say your typical Vancouver exploration companies. And we're just not that anymore. We're more of an environmental company than a resource company. So we're going to be into production and we're going to be targeting uh, reclamation of other mines as well. So the, the nice thing too about Sokova is that we have to move fast. And the CSE gives us that opportunity to raise capital and to move fast with our operations. We're fully permitted. We're, we've acquired most of the equipment for the plant now. The engineering is complete and we're going to be going into production sometime in 2022. And the CSE is the perfect platform for us to uh, go and raise the capital that we, we will need. Brad, can you talk to our audience a little bit about your background? Sure. I'm a Vancouver boy, took my engineering degree at uh, UBC, and then went to McGill and took my MBA. Right afterwards, I worked as a VP and director of structured finance at CIBC Wood Gundy for about 13 years in Toronto. Had the opportunity to come back home to Vancouver. And what I've tried to do is bring a little bit of that King and Bay blue, stroop, blue suit mentality to Howe Street. And we've had a bit of success. We had a, one company called Eagle Hill Exploration, where we took um, the Windfall Lake project, which was on care maintenance. We took it over and over a period of five years, took it to a bankable feasibility study, discovered there was a million ounces of gold there, and then handed it over to Cisco. And now Windfall Lake is going to be the next gold camp in North America. There's currently 250 geologists at site. There's 31 drill rigs there. So we've had some success, uh, recent success. I had the opportunity to join Sokova. I did so about four or five years ago. We uh, are working in the Windfall Lake area on a, a grassroots exploration project, which we still have and, have just, and just in the process of doing a drilling program there. But in addition to that, we've now acquired the Windfall Lake, sorry, the Montauban a mining project. It's fully permitted. Its infrastructure is in place. We've got 1.3 kilometers of hydro line. We've got our transformer. We've got a huge uh, mill building. It could hold about three or four tennis courts in it. And we're currently acquiring the equipment that we need to complete, um, complete the production. Got it. Are there any other key team members that you've uh, brought on board so far to move this project to the stage it's at currently? Yeah, you know, thanks for asking about the team. It's actually a very, very strong team. And going back to my old engineering days, what we want to do with our team is, is build a very strong foundation. From that foundation, we feel that we can do pretty much anything we want. 
we're starting with two key components, and that is in Paul Massantuono and James Chandick. Both of those gentlemen have been working with DNA Canada and I am on the Montauban mill for the last 12 years. They, they were the ones that were crucial in getting the permits together, helping with Edmond St. John, a uh, metallurgist, to help design what the plant is going to look like. Uh, they're still all on board. We've just brought on an extremely good CFO in Rebecca Ong. She's a great partner for me. Uh, make sure that our corporate governance is 100%. We have an extremely strong board of directors. And we have a very, very strong marketing team that we're putting together. We've got all the right components. We are building the team and we will be building, expanding as we go forward. We're going to have our mine operator, obviously, our construction operator. Um, we will be employing about 30 people in the Montauban area. Uh, these are good, high paying jobs in an area that needs some work right now. In fact, it was quite interesting. We had a bit of a town hall meeting. The mayor of Montauban wanted to put together a little bit of an information session. I thought it might be four or five people, maybe 15 minutes. We show up at the community center, it was packed. There was 45 to 50 people. Uh, we talked for an hour and a half. The questions were all good. It was very positive. And it's a very beautiful part of the world. The old $5 bill had a cascading river in the background. That river is adjacent to our property. So we take a lot of pride in coming in, creating some jobs, taking this toxic area and refurbishing it or, or making it new again or putting it back to its original state. Perfect. You know, Brad, taking up exploration project and moving towards the production stages it's never an easy task. Um, you know, it takes a lot of work and effort. As you mentioned, you've got a strong team with you, a lot of community engagement as well to move this forward. Are there any other differentiators between yourself and Sikova and some of your peers that might be in the same region? That's actually a really good point. Uh, there's, there's a ton. Number one is timing. We're fully permitted. Uh, we will be putting together the plant over the, the, the winter and the spring. And we should be in production sometime in the next six to six to nine months. So really that's, that's a huge point. The other thing too, is that we don't have to hope that we're going to find a resource. There's, there's further expansion that we want to do, exploration that we want to do. Remember this was a mine for about 80 years. And it's just been sitting there for the last 30 or 40 years, waiting for somebody to come in and I guess reclaim the property is, is the best way of describing it. So for me, it's a very easy sale job and it's a very straightforward uh, value proposition for our shareholders. Uh, we'll be able to explain exactly how we're going to get into revenue, what the revenue is. People will be able to see how we expand in the future and our objective is not just to do one of these projects, but we hope to have four or five of these in the next uh, two or three years. Currently in Quebec alone, there are 223 abandoned mine sites that need to be uh, refit. And our objective is going to be, once we get Montauban up and running, is go to acquire these other properties, do the metallurgy, whether or not we can come up with a way that we can extract any resources that are there and then make sure that it's no longer toxic once we're finished with it. Brad, these are all great milestones that an investor can look out for in the coming weeks and months from your team. Where can our viewers go to find out more details on the project, read up on your team, and obviously keep up with your latest press releases as you put them out? The website's the best, and that's sekova.ca. Uh, we will be issuing some other press releases as we're expanding the business, as we're doing some more exploration, as we're bringing in some of the equipment, as we're starting construction. So stay tuned. We have, and please go on the site if you're interested. Check out, you know, check out, check the box. Make sure that we've got your email address, and we'd be happy to send you everything that we have. Perfect, Brad. I appreciate you being so accessible to our viewers. 
I mean, uh, you know, the website's obviously uh, the best resource to go to get all these this information on the company. To everybody watching, you've been listening to Brad Kitchen. Brad is the CEO of Sikova Metals Corporation, which is trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange. I'm Anil Mall. I represent the CSE, and I thank you for tuning in to a newly listed on the CSE. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.